Are we just are we reintroing? What's up, y'all? We're back. <laughs> hey, Queen. Hey. 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 <laughs> she said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Queen's Table where we glow and we grow together. And maintaining our crowns while supporting our sisters as well. And we promise to keep you entertained while always keeping it real. From one queen to another, adjust your crown and have a seat at our table. Sit the fuck down. I'll Don't say it again. Bitches. Don't touch anything. Don't sit on the plastic sofas. Okay, so ladies, how was your week? I my week was all right. My week was good. It was it, there was a bunch of gnats in here right now. <laughs> oh, You're gonna see me do this like ninja chop all day. <laughs> like this is with violent, um, force. With violent <laughs> force. Like how Tanya just closed that notebook. I tried to catch one. Didn't work. <laughs> now my week my week was cool. How was your week? It was great. I had a great week. Um, I worked a lot, mm-hmm. which we already talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, I work a lot, mm-hmm. but I'm going to start enjoying myself because it's Leo season. Yes. It's my season. I had a great week, too. Oh, you want to talk about your week? Yeah. There was a beginning and an end. Oh, how was your week? <laughs> That's why it was good, because there was a beginning and there was an end to it. <laughs> For real, weekends are too short. They, they are. are. We need an extra day or something. Yes. I, we I vote we for them making Friday a weekend for real. No, they need to come up with another day, like another name day. Yeah. Well, we just need to. We need to go to the Euro. Look, we need to go to the European way of working. Okay, it's okay. like What's the European way? it's like two hour lunches, and you only work four days of work of like a week. That's it. You're and you are mandatory two months of vacation a year. They can enjoy their lives. They exactly. They you people. can they enjoy live your life. Too yes, not they do. Anymore. And where is this? Uh, in France, in Spain, in Italy, in Greece, like it's all over the place. Oh, they God, just work in Greece. a different schedule. I'm coming. I'm moving. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's go. To Can we? Yeah, let's go. I would love to, for real. For yeah. Real. Let's go. I, I want to go to that salt place. place. Salt place. The salt beach. With the water, where it's nice. The and baths. Cool. Yes. That's in Istanbul. I have been Sienna? dying. No, it's supposed oh, to be really like cathartic. It's good. it's good for your. It's cleansing. Oh. Yeah. It's supposed to be really good, and I they say like healing. They say it has like some healing energy. Yeah, I'll to go it. in looking like this, and I'll come out slim like Aaron. <laughs> well, let's go then because I got a couple extra times to get off before this Friday. I'll take the butt cheeks and just stick them right here. I'll take it. Before this I'll put first it. First Friday in New York City. Yes. New York City. Because we're coming to New York. Yes, shout we out to are. Watson. Um, and shout out to the Parliament as well. U Street Labs is coming to York to the Bond, um, in partnership with the Parliament. Mm-hmm. Uh, tickets are available at the link in the comments. Mm-hmm. That sounded great. I said that perfectly. Go look at the link in the comments. No, mm-hmm. for real. Um, street team was out this past yes. weekend. Shout out to the street team. Yes. For you, street. So if you get confused about where to go, just go to York and wander around. You'll see the flyers everywhere. 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 <laughs> everywhere. They're all over the place. Local barber shops. Mm-hmm. The hair salon. Mm-hmm. Check them out. The tattoo shops. Right. All of them. On everybody. top of the telephone poles. Facts. Everywhere. I'm talking. We covered we each intersection. Did. Like every corner. Too. Yep, Aban- yeah, every abandoned building we could find, blank window, oh, they're the up everywhere. Meters. The parking. <laughs> no, we did put two on the parking meters right outside the bond. I'm pretty sure the city's going to get mad at us for that. Yeah, right. They, they <laughs> come off. It's not like we spray painted it. Right? No, it's just they're I just tape. I would have spray painted it. <laughs> I mean, you do art, though, so they probably It probably would have looked cool. Right. We should have tried. That's we that's should have. That's a good idea. Does that count as vandalism, or is that more like guerrilla marketing? Because I actually think that sounds like a dope-ass idea, to go around with a stencil and just... If you do that in York, you're going to jail. (laughs) Let's wander (laughs) around the world. I think we should wander. Yeah. that doesn't mean that they do. Well, don't they have the graffiti wall? Don't they have the graffiti wall? Yeah, we do. There's yeah, a so we wall can where you can go and you can just you can do whatever you want. You we can, can tag like, that whole bitch up. I think we should wander the world and just like randomly. Like every, I think it's like every month or every two months they pick like a different theme and then it's something different. And like, then they paint over it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that oh no, but it's like every month it changes. It's always something new. Okay. Like okay. for um, they did like the Puerto Rico theme before. Yeah. They did a Black History Month one. Okay. Um, they do the Fourth of July. Like they do different shit. 
Oh, that sounds terrible, so though, not to go, be able to how, preserve. How about we go up you there, right? And if it's a face, we'll do the U Street and the eyeballs. That sounds great. I love it. Yeah. We're going to wander the world with a U See, Street U stencil Street. and just I put it all over the place. What's going on this week. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot going on this week. Definitely a lot. Definitely. And there's a lot of hound dogs out there. I think it was, I think the year was 2019, 2018 or 2019. Um, there was a rumor. I for, what's her name? She was saying the, the wife. She, no, not the wife. It was Lala was the wife, which yeah. is the problem. Oh, uh, uh, Maya, Maya Burks? Yeah, Maya Burks mm-hmm. um, is saying that she had a baby by Carmelo Anthony. Nobody believed that woman. Nobody believed her, but now there was a picture that surfaced, and there's a man holding her daughter. Mm-hmm. They have and to eat. they identified the chain. You know black Twitter don't miss a beat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They saw the chain, and they're like, oh, that's Melo's chain. So there's six pictures side by side. Like, he was holding this baby. Yeah. I don't know a little girl that sits in a, in a man's lap that's not her dad. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. now basically he's confirmed. Um, he the pappy. He the pappy. He ain't tried to confirm, but he did. He did come out and say, like, yes, it's true. He did? No, I'm asking, did he? No, I don't think he said anything. <laughs> no, he didn't He didn't come out and confirm, but his Jesus piece did. Yeah. His, his Jesus, Jesus piece was there. And Jesus don't tell no lies. Yeah, because mm. if it wasn't your kid... And he was, it was tall, like the figure Jesus match yeah, and everything. Wow. Okay. Because yeah. you know people could go buy like a fake chain or something. Nah, but, like, ain't nobody going to buy the same The figure, Carl, no. like no. the it, stature. Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, yeah. And if that ain't your baby, I wouldn't be posted up with my I wonder if that's kid. why him and Lala went south. Like, I wonder if that's. Probably. That yeah. could be the end all be all if you think I, about it. It yeah. would be for me. Would it be for you? They only had one. They only had their son. And in 2018, their son was still over like 12, I believe. Yeah, yeah. he's getting older now. You know what I mean? He had to be like almost that that could fuck up his life yeah and not to mention he tried to get back with lala they was going to work it out for a little bit and then now we mm. Mm -hmm. he was probably sitting there denying it it's just a rumor it's not true blah 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 she probably found out some proof come back from but Mm -hmm. i mean he ain't on that that anyway she can she can get somebody else and i'm sorry but he was to me anyway before he started moving like he cut his hair and he just changed. But Lala's aging like a fine wine. I think she looks yes, better right. now. She looks good. Yes. She looks better now she than she has that. in any other stage of her. Mm-hmm. Like she gets See, better with age. I used to love Ciara Give her that Lala toxic too. shit. Yeah. I love Ciara Lala. <laughs> I do. I do. But can we talk about all these men is out here dirty dogging this week? They mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. You see Neo? Neo. Ooh. What's going on with Neo and his wife, Crystal Smith? Well, Crystal Smith went to social media and she just had to tell the world how much of a dog Neo is sleeping with women that sell their bodies unprotected. Would you put your man on blast like that if he did that to you? You were okay with it for so long. Yeah, like my thing is like you already is. took him back. Yeah. I think she might have though because they threatened divorce like before. And it was, again, because there was cheating accusations. Like, there were rumors going around. So they had almost divorced. I think that was, like, either right before the pandemic or right at the beginning of it. Mm. So then, like, they were very open about going into the pandemic already kind of on the rocks, like, having some trouble. And then I think she had another baby, didn't she? I don't know, but I think Not this is karma. The, the baby was, yeah, they're all Neo. I thought, no, but, I mean, I thought she had, she's had another one since, they like, just, they. I think they just recently had Yeah, just recently had another one. I think she knew all along. Maybe she was in denial. Maybe she gave him a second chance. But I will give his ass a divorce. He's trying to give give people monkeypox. That's he, that's he where sleeping around everybody. Yeah, that's where my thing is. Like, even if you could forgive cheating, if you cheated once, if you made a mistake, but like he's out here raw dogging random people. Not to mention his karma. I'm happy he's having these issues. You know why? Because he was with a good woman, and he cheated on her. Then he stuck it out with her made her tie her tubes and as soon as she did that he divorced her and went and had a bunch of kids and then went and had more kids yeah that was a grimy you move. son of a bitch i don't like you that you was big, a grimy freaking move. bowling ball head yeah no i, I agree takes with all your money that that was a grimy move yeah so since we're talking about men cheating mm-hmm. ti said this week that men only cheat with disposable women <laughs> Where's the lie? So, well, I guess Bernice Burgos, he bought her, what, Land Rover? Did he buy her a car? Bernice Burgos. I remember him and her were dating. Yeah, he yeah. bought something. Because her and Tiny almost came to blows. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he did something. My thing is like. But then he was still seeing her when he got back with Tiny. He was still seeing her a little bit on the side. 
probably. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. He was. I, I think I men say something like that. I think men say shit like that. Like, fine. she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. What are you doing back there, production staff? Breaking stuff. Breaking he's back, shit. He's back there going through it, man. Like, he's having a hard time. <laughs> he's having a hard time today. <laughs> Like, what are you doing he back there? He had, the, he had the cords wrapped up in his hand. Do we think that men are cheating with disposable women? I think that they do, honestly. This is my thing. First of all, no woman is disposable. No woman is disposable. They and, and listen, they don't mean like throw her in yeah. the trash disposable. They mean like women that they don't really want to be with. I, that's how I interpret it. I don't think so. I interpreted it as someone easy, like a groupie or this or that, like somebody oh, well, that's can get away with and just too. toss to the side and be done. Like not necessarily throw in the trip, but literally throw to the side. Mm -hmm. Somebody you're not worried about, somebody that's just looks or pretty. That's all well and good if that's your perspective and that's how you're approaching that situation but that woman might think it's something else she, she might, might think she just hit the lottery she might think she just you know that's because men make them feel like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. absolutely and that's the, see but I that's to get in their pants I think, I think a lot of people are saying that are disposable yeah from the man that's, yep yeah yeah so exactly the, the woman might not be trash but to but him, to him she is trash. yeah yeah. He's attracted to the pussy and not the mind. But that, that's the thing. Men can definitely be 100% physically attracted to you, but not every one of them. They just don't want you to talk. Well, I, I got a men. microphone, and I'm going to... No, I'm just <laughs> And I'm going to speak to my I mind. wish men would be up front when it comes to that kind of stuff, though, because it does play out like such a manipulation. Yep. And because here's my... What, what would be the range of Here's my thing, though. There's a but what men don't understand is women. We think a lot alike mm -hmm. when it comes Sometimes to sex. Sometimes we want y'all to go home. Too. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes we're just looking for a fuck. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. No, we I know a lot of women that do. Because women, no, because women. I think we own we that shit. Like, ooh. We all own that shit. If I'm not interested in a relationship, <laughs> I'm going to be very upfront about that. I'm just trying to get some dick, like yeah, like fuck and me that's the fuck that. Out of here. Never has a man Go turned back down to somebody on that. Who appreciates your headache. I've never uh, once had a man sit there and be like, "No, I want a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you any." Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So you don't, you don't I like my peace. Go give mm -hmm. her a headache. Respect mind, yourself, kings. <laughs> no side is different. Side is devaluing. <laughs> yeah, I, mm, I think that I think it's accurate. I don't see any lies, no lies detected on my behalf. I, I don't know. Point, if they don't pay us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you I'm got getting, it on me right now too. I'm getting, Thank. I'm getting paid. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, seriously, yeah. they I'm, should. I'm getting paid. From what? Huh? From what? I'm getting paid regardless of whatever I do. Somebody throwing me some coins or something. You're going to buy me something. You're going to do something. So you want to get flued out? No, I don't want to get flued out because I just seen a video today. Yeah, I was just about I to say that. Yeah, I seen a video today <laughs> where she didn't give out. Yeah, she didn't give out. He Are left we her. obligated to have sex with men if they fly us out and take us on but vacation? But you should know that's what he wants. Like, if he's buying your ticket and shit, you know you No, I, I, I completely think so. Absolutely. If I'm... If we're... Yeah, yeah, conversation absolutely matters. Maybe you get there and the spark's just not there or whatever. But if it's your first time meeting, then you should take that responsibility mm -hmm. on yourself. I will fly myself out. No, you do it. It's a textual conversation. I said, no, you do it. But, I mean, wouldn't you think that he would say that ahead of time? It had that conversation ahead of time Before and see if she, she still... Out, yeah. Talking about sex the whole time. They had to be, yeah. Now, oh, that's what happened? No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Because sex just that's doesn't. Different. Yeah, because then she different. just played him. She that's just different. played him. That's I think, different. though, like, if I'm going on any type of vacation or, you know, trip or whatever with a man, whether it's me coming to see you, you coming to see me, us meeting someplace neutral, 
I think there's kind of an expectation there. Yeah. You know? But my thing is, she said, I came out here with nothing. Like, why would you come out here with nothing? Expecting expecting him to pay for everything you broke, bitch. Like, then you deserve to get what what you got. (laughs) Yeah. Like, you didn't want to give him, you came out there with nothing. You didn't want to give him no pussy. I'm not going nowhere with no money. Right. I wonder if she thought this was like a sugar daddy situation. Like, there wasn't a physical obligation. I don't know. The way he made it sound was like we were talking, we've been getting to know each other. Oh so, well. Since we uh, we also mentioned say less shameless plug came on right before this. Make sure you go catch it. Um, we talked about this on there too. So this post says when you meet his friend group and he's not the leader, mm. gross. Mm. Could y'all <laughs> date a man who was not the leader mm. of his friend group? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could y'all date- so y'all I think the the soldier. No, I have I I you know what I had somebody that always used to tell me these stories about how they would run He's shit such a boss. and you know he would do this and he would uh-huh. do that and I found out that every last story that he told me was a fucking lie. How'd you feel about that? I felt freaking degraded. <laughs> I felt ashamed. I felt so, used and abused. <laughs> so you not dating the beta. I don't no. want to. I don't want to date somebody that's gonna lie about no. your stat, your status. Yeah. Like, why yeah. the fuck like, you who lying? Are you trying for? To impress with that, that? I can understand because you lied about it. Yeah. But what if he was just not the leader of his friend group? Could you date him? I mean, not every I mean, friend group has a leader. There are because alphas run in packs. You know, when if you've got like I think when I look at us, all three of us are alphas. I don't really hang out with a ton of other people outside of Ustream Media because this is like our entire life. So it's you know this is who I hang out with, and I don't think there's one in particular leader in any way shape or form Mm -hmm. i've also seen very similar to what you're talking about one of my ex his friends used to be out of the club oh i'm a boss i'm this i'm that i'm doing you know very much talking himself up Mm -hmm. but he was a funky Mm. he was the funky we're attracted to the leaders. Absolutely, yeah. we're attracted to alphas. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I I'm mean, like, to I like an I'll alpha. All over I like a, a man. Yeah. So, I'll run all over a beta. Yeah. So if if it was a, one of the guys, right, and you're out with them, and then all of a sudden one of the other guys smack him in the back of the head, like, no, no yeah, we're done. You know, that's we're you know done. what I'm saying, like, like, yo, go give me a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know exactly. What I'm saying? So I'm like, saying, like, he's the flunky smack in the back of the head. Like, he's the flunky. Yeah. Especially if he has like one of them tight fades in the back of his mm-hmm. red mark. The, the nigga who goes to get the Duchess. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. No. no. You're no. not. It, I don't give a. I don't care. I'm not dating the Aaron boy. No, we can especially, find good dick uh, elsewhere. Especially <laughs> not the Aaron boy. Especially Aaron not an Duh. Aaron boy for other men. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just so he's, whack. Like he's you the, the funky. You how would you? Him, how you know? would you act if you was in prison? Like their bitch, the same as he exactly. does out in public. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, for and any that's what happened man. With my thing. That's the reason why he acted that way when yeah. he was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Philly, you know what I'm Philly's having a whole meltdown back there. Do you have a microphone? <laughs> he needs one. He needs one. Listen. Yeah, there's a mic right there. There's a mic right there. Use it. Say it with your chest. He's groaning Go and ahead shit. And <laughs> Clear throat. <clears throat> mic, mic, mic. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I'm, I, when I read this, that's what actually made me realize. I didn't realize there was a leader. Mm-hmm. And because <laughs> my friend, I never really looked at it like that. But now that y'all are talking, I do hear like, yeah, there was a couple dudes that was the funky brother kind of. The Aaron boy. The Aaron boy. Mm-hmm. We ain't dealing with that. There's outfit. a D. <laughs> There's a D on the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron. You can run errands for me because I'm your girl. But you ain't running no errands for no other men. But, I, but I'm also curious, like, where those are dudes laying some pink dick? Because that, that. Not usually. Matters, right? I mean, I've I never yeah, been with know. one of them. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't know. I See, always if, if I had alpha. somebody laying some nice pipe, right, and everything is going good, and then I find out you're the errand boy, I'm it's beating you the fuck up. That's why I said it's I'm beating you up. Like, and it's they just, looked at me like I was crazy. Kenzie mm-hmm. was like, well, then how you love some, but you love them now. I love the pipe. But the, here's my thing. Uh, why? Uh, <laughs> love the <laughs> Love the, 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 the. <laughs> chicks that think their dude is tough and he really ain't. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they never leader? saw him outside of. They never saw him right. in his friend right. group. They right. never saw him in the friend group. That's they because think he's tough because of because of the story. All of y'all do that. 
All of y'all do that. I have not heard a man that do not talk himself up. Did you ever be with but like, somebody nah, and... I really pop off. <laughs> no. no. I'm really about that life. Shut Were you up. ever with somebody and they went out with their friends and you actually went to where they were going just sat and watched? No, that would be fun. No, I think I would get I would get scouted instantly. Like being a fly on the wall. That would just be dope. To, just to sit back to and watch. And yeah, and, and let Yeah, them... I don't know how I wouldn't get caught, but Right. I, <laughs> I mean, would want to try though. That sounds like a good idea. Let's that's do it. I, yeah, I would want to. Yeah, just to watch. It. I just see, but I can't stay in disguise. If I see something I don't like, I'm boom. Cover blown. No, if you're with us, you'll be in disguise. You'll stay. <sighs> I don't know how we're supposed to blend in. <laughs> the three we of don't. us, like, we stand, out. we stand out. I don't know. If we go in separate corners, I mean, you not be, we won't I'm like, be post up. Like, to can you. we get next to me? <laughs> <laughs> Look what he doing. He buying that nigga dream over there. <laughs> <laughs> He done went to the back. What he doing time. over there? Look, look. It's that shit. <laughs> look. <Yeah. laughs> did, you guys, did you guys see Will Smith apologize this week? Yes. Yes. What do you think about it? I'm happy he did it because if he would have did it, if he would have did it right away, it wouldn't have been genuine. I'm happy he did what he sat on it. Yeah, I'm happy he actually went and reflected, reflected, Mm -hmm. and and I hope India. Sometimes it takes that though. Mm -hmm. It Mm -hmm. takes that like to sit back and be like, "Damn, was I wrong? I probably owed you a little bit." I'll say it. I don't like the fact that y'all was mad that he slapped Chris, and now y'all mad that he freaking apologized. They're just mad. Yeah, they're just mad. These people are weird. Yeah. I'm not mad that he apologized. I'm mad that he did it to himself in the beginning. I'm not mad at him at all. I'm mad at Jada. That's grown shit. I'm not mad at Will at all. Yeah. You're not mad. You're disappointed. You're disappointed. You're disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't, I was never mad at him. I was mad at her. I'm happy. I still feel like she instigated the whole thing. I'm going to be totally honest. And I know I wasn't honest before, but I'm happy he slapped Chris. Why? Why? I'm, I'm what did so, Chris ever do to you? Listen, he didn't do it. Everybody hates Chris. Chris. Listen, no, no, but you didn't see that episode where he was actually on an interview, and no shade. There was a bunch of white guys. Fucking white people. You know what I'm saying? And they, he's, they're throwing the N bomb left and right, left and right, and Chris Rock is the only black dude there, and he's not checking these dudes for using the N word. Wait, he was in a room full of white people. Yes. that were using. Yeah. And Chris and Rock, Rock didn't do nothing. Victim. Yeah. So but I'm so fucking happy shout that. Shout out to Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. yeah. You're dope for, for that. Yeah. And and like Louis C.K. and whoever the, they oh, were oh, using the N word. Really oh, well, he's had scandals before. Don't you remember when, um, who was the crazy guy that was on Seinfeld? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah remember, yeah. I, I'm blanking Kramer? on his name. Kramer? Yeah, Kramer. Kramer. When he did that stand-up episode, yeah. mm-hmm. and he and he stepped, yo, Jerry Seinfeld snapped at him, mm-hmm. like, because he did he did that stand-up. Off, yeah. What did yeah. he say? He got up and he went on this like it. He went on this rant. He used the N word and he, was yeah, it actors. was bad. It was black actors. And he lost it like super unprofessional. Yeah. Yeah, with the ER. Mm-hmm. Heavy on the ER. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he should have got snapped on. Yeah. Shout out to Jerry Seinfeld. Again. Yeah. Yeah. A real we love one. you. We love you. A real you. one though. So yeah. He's an if idiot. anybody does that kind of, st- you're racist. Like you don't have to say nigger to be funny. No. You don't. Yeah, but you you no don't friend, have to let them I, do that. I, I, See, but that should never yeah. that should never be encouraged though, because then that white guy is gonna go around other black if people that aren't like his that, friends. He already says it exactly. Freely. Like I had white friends that used to say like reckless shit, and I would check them. Like, yeah, yeah, you absolutely should because I mean. If you sit there and, like, co-sign, like, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's my friend. Like, I don't care. Like, they can say it around me. That person is going to go say it out in public mm-hmm. around other black and people get seriously hurt. and get fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, they it's... Get, they would check you if it, they felt offended. Right. right. Yeah. I would say let them. I would still correct it, but I would still... Go ahead. If you want to say it again after I check you, 
Yeah. By all means, get your head knocked off. I mean, I'm just happy that somebody stepped up and smacked him. You know, and I know. nobody. I'm gonna have to. I still. He think, is. He is. He I is. Still but think still, he didn't deserve to be smacked. I mean, I, I don't think he deserved to be smacked either. But my only problem now is you, Chris Rock. Do you think Rock, if it had been anybody else, he would have reacted different? As who, if it was somebody besides Will Smith slapping yeah. him, maybe it would depend. This one. It looks like it's glowing. It says U Street on it's it. It's got you on it. Got the U Street logo. I like it. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but my only problem with it now, though, is I'm, I'm glad Will Smith apologized. I still don't think it was his fault in the first fucking place, but I'm glad. He, but now Chris Rock refused to accept the apology. Didn't want to hear it before, but he keeps bringing it up. Yeah, you're making does. money off of making jokes at mm-hmm. your shows, and you're making money off of this, and you're continuing it, but won't sit down and have a conversation. He told Will Smith, well, "I'm not you ready." Sit down with Will Smith and have a conversation. I wouldn't I mean, sit down with him, but I, we can we can call, we can have FaceTime, if it's even necessary. But like, don't keep dragging it on. Chris Rock is dragging it on for publicity. He's dragging it for publicity. I mean, I wouldn't think so either. But like, you know what I mean? That's Hollywood. It's Would it would it I, have been okay. better if they fought on stage? Chris Rock isn't a fighter. He wasn't gonna fight. But I'm anybody. saying, like, would it would it have would would it have been better if they fought? On, day, really. I feel no. like with society, I think it would have been better if they fought. I think everybody would been much happier if they fought on stage. That would have had all of us looking crazy. Black people, that would have been a bad look. And that would have been Chris Rock. I think it already is for black people. Chris Rock saved. Cause, cause the way he handled it. Will smacking him would have been way, way, way be- Will smacking him was way better than them up there cussing him and tearing it up on that stage. That would have been crazy. Like he kept it together. and That, that would have been crazy. Like, so was it a joke or was it not a joke? It was not a joke. Because people are saying that it, people are still saying that it was a joke. Like I don't they think staged it, I don't, the whole thing? I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think it was a joke. I don't think I don't think so. I don't know. I think it was funny. They're both at the top of their game. Because that one video came out and it was like identical. I saw that one too, but then people were talking about that it was created recently and done. I know. Yeah, I know, right? We do not own the copyright. I'm, t- <laughs> I'm telling you, that is face planting song. That's a face planting song. Jesus, shout face out to sitting. Chris Brown. Yo. Face Speaking of um, singers, did you guys see that uh, Jennifer Hudson is dating Common? Common gets around a little bit. Common's fine. They said that he he, he has the slang dangalang, the entertainment dangalang. I haven't heard that. That's what they said. But you know what? He funny. seems to be like. Cannon? No, he has the. Huh? Did you? No, he has he L. he has L. the community L. D. That's what they said. He has common. The com- yeah, because common always seems like the relationship one. See, Every time you see him, no. he's in a relationship. Think about it. It be those guys, the quiet ones. Yeah, because the they're so ones charming. That just sit mm-hmm. back and it, mm-hmm. You see how he acts. Funny. You see how he's he so acted charming. in Just Right. He's so charming. It's you see it how he acted. He was with Paula Patton. Then he then he let he led Queen Latifah on, and then he went back to Paula. Then he went back to Queen Latifah. Girl, that was that's a movie, movie though. <laughs> that's real life common. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Haddish is not happy. She's no, mad. she is mad. She's mad. She's you mad? What she? What she mad at? What she said? Do we know what she said? I think. Do you have the comment pulled up? Damn Let it, I missed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> She's over here fighting the gnats and shit. <laughs> What did she say to him? She basically was she saying, basically now men want to be in relationships. Yeah, yeah like now yeah. you want to act committed or something. So it what? Just we don't might not be you. She I, she sounds so bitter. But you think about that. We don't know what happened behind closed doors. She no. might be because how often have we been with a man who, you know, what I mean, sometimes you be with a man he don't act right for you, but then he'll act right for somebody else. You don't get the same mm-hmm. version of a person all mm-hmm. the time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, just because this man treats me like gold doesn't mean he's going to treat you like that. You're mm-hmm. not me. You can't be. Mm-hmm. And Everybody vice versa. If he treats me like shit, doesn't mean he's not going to treat the next one exactly. like gold. Exactly. You know? 
Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, and if you're not the right one, you're not the one. He want to act right for a period. I think women have this this and subconscious. They treat us how we allow them to. Absolutely. I think women have this subconscious way of assuming that because we are a prize and we are mm -hmm. that every man is lucky to have us or that we're every man's type or if we give that man the time of day he should be so grateful see i do feel like every man should be lucky to have us though but not every man is meant for us the right. man that is meant for you should be appreciative and he will be but not all, like like you Everybody said we're not, not everybody's type your worth. exactly and some of these men aren't ready for it Exactly. Every man wants Every me. Every man might want to fuck you. Every mm -hmm. man wants me and he wants to but fuck me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they might want to fuck mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. He wants and wants to fuck. Everybody. Yeah. Right? Right. <laughs> so, Tiff <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tane is over here having a whole conversation. <laughs> because they want to fuck and they want me too. I mean, but I. What do they want you for? Yeah. There we go. That's what you're trying. They, 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 they trying. They, they trying to take what I got. They want pussy. They want pussy, and they trying to take what I got. They trying to take my coins out my pocket. No. No. Do your goals align? Nope. Mm. Then that's not that's the one. Then. That's why I'm still single. They wasting my time. <laughs> they wasting my time. I don't care. Ooh, and time is money, and we don't waste money. And you ain't gonna mm. pay me for my time. Mm -mm. Men be like, I'm finally ready to settle down, and we be in oh relationship. We what? <laughs> <laughs> so we're not selling pussy on Queen City. No, not I will, today. I will not tell today, you up, I will tell you up for a pretty penny though. So yeah, it's not, you got. I bet she would. Right? She would. Tiffany Haddish said, "Men be like, I'm finally ready to settle down and be in a relationship." And then she says. That's why I hang out in adult daycares for fun. I know I will find a real one in there. She said, I like men with disabilities. That's what that just said. High five? <laughs> High five to Bonnie. <laughs> you like the men with the disabilities? No. Aww. No. She just no. sounds really bitter to me. Like, I feel like she's not grasping the idea when she's talking about, oh, didn't want commitment. You guys were in a committed relationship. You they guys were, were together. In a committed relationship. He it just didn't myself. work. It just didn't work. Oh, that's she not. She sounds like she's still hurt. She does. There's always yeah, I somebody what really in a happened. relationship after it ends that still holds on to feelings. And just because he's on a date with Jennifer Hudson, that doesn't mean they're together. Doesn't mean they're serious. They might. Be doing a movie together they might it might have know. just been a date. It might. People know. do actually date. Right. So I don't thing. know. Jennifer Hudson got a big mouth, yo. She does. I don't know. You yeah. think a big she, mouth she, in she what she sense? About, she about to swallow common whole, man. And Tiffany Haddish is pissed off about that shit. She knows she got the ill deep throat. She got them pipes. Jennifer Hudson got them pipes. I they wouldn't be surprised. I yep. wouldn't be surprised. Every, every time she goes like this, them, them, them veins be popping out right here. <laughs> she ready to swallow that joint. But, like, who's to say Aww. it's even anything serious? Like, <laughs> they get pictured together and everybody's it jumping to, to conclusions. At their, in their status, they don't have... Their time is really money. I'm I'm spending my time with you. Okay. So you don't write movies. You ain't going to cut me a check. I mean this <laughs> I mean this to with... you trying to get me the signature wedding or some shit, you ain't in a relationship. <laughs> I'm going to spend time with common sign ass. I'm fucking. I mean I'm this with no... Night. I sure fucking am. I mean, well, common, yeah, because he's fine. I his see. freckles is his freckles turn me on. I it's love his freckles. demeanor for me. He's but like, like a silent assassin. I like yeah. that. I like that cute, ugly face that he makes. Like when he Show gets me how he do it. when he goes, <laughs> he gets the parentheses. He be like, how you doing? Like <laughs> kind of look crazy a little bit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I like that. But face. my thing is like it, it, we can say that, but and no disrespects to either one of them because I'm a big fan of both. Jennifer Hudson's career and Common's career. Common's an amazing musician. She's had like one album. She's done some plays, but if and like a couple Wait, she of only movies. Had one album? Yeah, she had <laughs> when was a, This is what I'm saying. Like when we actually <laughs> look at them, had more than she that. did. Really? When we actually look at the careers, and people are like, "Oh, well, you know, I think it's a publicity stunt because neither one of your careers are." When you look at them on paper, oh. 
super duper duper impressive. Jennifer I Hudson mean, but she, cut she, Dream, Dream Girls down. Yeah. She did, but that. How long ago was that movie? She has a wax figure, and now that you saw it. But isn't she, she doing does. the voice? Wasn't she doing the voice for yeah, a while? Yeah, but now they switched her judges. Is, and I think she might but it's not like a list. Too. It's not like she's making $20 million a pop on appearances yeah. and shit. You know, yeah. that's what it's I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, we look at that and it's like, oh, well, you know, neither one of them needs this for publicity. They've got these great careers. Do they? Yeah, they could probably Listen, do that. Listen, sir, you're not going to keep on that's texting. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to keep on texting me, man. That's right, what I'm saying. Right, we doing shit. Go get you yeah, some Yeah, stop money. texting. Or put it in the comments. Right, and if you can't say it to all the person, don't say it to everybody. Then don't either. say it at all, because we're all going to know anyway. Right. right. <laughs> How y'all feel about Beyonce? I don't want no smoke from the beehive. I said that on Say Less. I don't want no bzzz all in my comments and shit. Nah, but I didn't download her new album. Man, fuck um, them bees. We need a I queen's not, table over here. I didn't download her new album, but I've heard that Khalees is mad. My boobs? I, yeah, Khalees is definitely mad. I haven't listened to the album yet either. Um... I'm afraid to, honestly, because I love Beyonce so much. Yeah, like I, more. I love Beyonce. <laughs> I like Beyonce too. But I'm a little worried from what I've heard about it. Yeah. I was very disappointed with Drake's album, and being that this is along that same genre, I almost don't even want to listen to it because I don't want to hate it. I'm kind of pissed off at Beyonce. Well, not pissed off at. Well, you know what? I am pissed off at Beyonce a little bit, and I'm pissed off at her team because this is not the first time that they sampled somebody and they did not get permission. See, but she but doesn't did own she? her master. She, she did, and she settled in a lawsuit. She doesn't need permission from Khalees. Khalees, does Khalees own doesn't her own music. her music. Khalees owned what she sampled. Did and she? Yes, Khalees did a whole video, and she said she... Pharrell, it's, yeah, but supposedly there's a beef between Khalees and Pharrell. And Pharrell did it on purpose, knowing that he owned what she, well, partly owned mm -hmm. what he well, sampled. Well, he said, yes, there's nothing she can do. But. She wrote it and she produced, like, she. You got a mic on? No. He, he owns it, but Neptune was owning music because she was on the, she was on the. Label. Label, but mm -hmm. she wrote the song and she should have money. Like, she should be getting money. I would want but the royalties because nobody's signed, really listening to Khalees's album. I really that. think that artists she's, should just have torn. ownership. I think if you make a song, you should have ownership it's of it's said you should, music. But it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't, but there, that's how it you should. You get more of a reach when you have a big label behind you most times. I just that's think that's because that label knows they're going to recoup that money yeah. that they're putting if, in off and the royalties. Like the if if mm -hmm. Beyonce mm -hmm. and Khalees are cool like she says they are. I really think that it should have been a respect type of thing. I really think that that's what she's saying. Oh, she said that they hang out together. That's what she said in the video. Yeah, I think I think I Khalees might have been exaggerating, like maybe. They, they might have hung out there. Like, I don't. Yeah. I oh. Do you see Beyonce hanging out? You don't never see Beyonce naked. I mean, it's possible. I mean, That's hey. That's because you guys signed NDAs. Uh -huh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's you guys signed NDAs to go there. I don't know. I don't know. I think I I understand Khalees' frustration, but at the end of the day, I don't think she has a legal leg to stand on. I don't think she's going to I don't think she's going to do anything legally. I really think If that was me and that was my music and I really felt like my shit was being stolen, and I wasn't getting, I absolutely would be getting a lawyer. Does, I mean, she maybe, doesn't I mean, have. If she does not do anything legally, then that proves the point right there. You that she doesn't, uh, yeah, music. she doesn't own it. It would be yeah. nice to get the credit, you know what I mean? But it happens a lot where people sample shit and don't mm -hmm. give credit. Mm -hmm. Who else was pissed off at her? Who was it? Azalea Banks? At, pissed off at who? At Beyonce. She oh, said Beyonce stole her. Her swag she says she stole her like Beyonce existed Azalea long Banks before Azalea Banks. She's a rapper. And she's trash. I'm she's sorry. A I can't stand her. I can't is she rapper or singer. I don't fucking know. She's I can't stand her. I mean her name pops up like once in a blue. And it's moon always and, drama. And it's always, it's drama. always something like, stupid she's doing for she publicity. Is. Didn't she fall off the stage or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, she's been. always got some drama going on. But I think Beyonce should have just handled the situation differently because the same as when she released the first song, everybody was like, oh, you're sampling this from this woman over here. 
that woman received flowers then from Beyonce. Like, oh, great. Thank you so much. Well, like, I was the dead trending. the person that she sampled from for, uh, information from Lemonade, she got she had to settle out of court with that. As long as she pays them. Yeah. She ain't public, right? No, she's mm-hmm. not. Like, she was big enough where if she sampled something, her thing was the team was so Yeah. Like, her team needs to do better. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. It sounds like it's a recurring problem. But we're going to go a little bit away from that. Mm -hmm. How do you ladies feel about staying close and staying cool with somebody, with your ex's family? I ain't doing that shit. No? Nope. So everybody getting cut off? If I'm cutting him off, I'm cutting you off too. And I did. I have mixed emotions on this one. I don't like it. I don't like it. I have mixed emotions. Because then that means one. you got to interact. Because one of you show up with a new chick, you got to interact interact with her forcefully because you in the parents' mm-hmm. house. Well, I mean, no. I don't know that, you know, staying in contact means, like, you have to socialize together. I know my one yeah, of my exes. Cool, like, can you still go over for dinner? And- I, I had an ex who's like, whose mom just, I was very, very close with. So when we broke up and he eventually told her, like, I don't want you guys hanging out. I don't want you guys talking on the phone. I don't want you guys to be cool anymore. I understood. I understood where he was coming from. Totally get it. And I've never stayed friends with one of my ex's family since then. But I know my cousin right now is in the middle of going through divorce. She's been married since I was 14 they've been together since I was eight years old he's like a brother to me I'm the godmother to their kids you got me fucked up if you think that's not still my family I don't give a damn about that divorce well, that's, that's, different. Different. that's my family that's different. but it's not but this is what I'm saying you can't you can't oh, say shit. like I'm sorry guys if it's your ex's family I'm not talking like dating but you just oh. <laughs> but that's an ex now so like in situations like that, no, that's that's always my cousin. I don't when give a I damn. break up with you, my family. Oh does no, too. you flashed and my earring fell. If I break up with you, my family does too, which is not always true though, because my family's so nice. They still just be like, oh hi, I yeah. call such and such. I don't care. Like it's not to say though that <laughs> they're going care. out of their way to go hang out with that person, but if they see them out, they're gonna be cordial. Yeah, like no, mm, my family would. You can still come to dinner if you need something. Or- mm-hmm. No. They're that family. Yeah. Unless you do something wrong to mm-hmm. me. Like, right. if you wrong me in any way, then they might feel differently. But my family's always, in general, like, they're very welcoming people. Yeah. Um, but I'm not staying cool with nobody's family. Like, last person I was with that we broke up, I deleted everybody. Mm-hmm. We all got to go. My ex is locked and I up. Like, I'm still cool with his like, family. I felt, I don't know, I felt like, never mind, we're not going to go into that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go into that off air. Can he stay in touch with his ex's family, my man? I don't see the point. I think because once you've moved point, on, they're all going to yeah. be in his ear about yeah. what, what, mm-hmm. what else do y'all have in common? How, 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 how can you move on if you're still associating with your ex's peoples? You really can. Suck my dick. See? See, now that's just see, disrespectful. See? That's Period. just inappropriate. Like, yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah, that's just inappropriate. Don't, don't get yourself hurt, lady. No, I just, I think, I think it's a delicate situation. I think it depends how long you've been together. You know what I mean? Like, I don't if, care about none of that. There's no reason why my ex should be hanging out with his ex's family. Like, no. Yeah, that's, that's gonna some make you feel like something's going on. Right. But well, we're talking, yeah. we're talking at just like a boyfriend girlfriend right. level, right. you know. But like in a situation like that, you are a married man. I think if you're friends with that family, the second you move on or they move on into a relationship, make sure those ties are cut. And I hope and you told that. her not to get hurt. She can get beat up. This was like over a decade after the relationship. That's why I said she could still get beat up. I hope you told her it ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It's not safe. Don't do it. So if yeah. you were the one, then why aren't why aren't y'all still together? Then obviously you weren't. I hate the I hate. The I'm just saying, like I, I'm you, just saying, like for real, for real. Your daughter got some trash pussy. Yeah. <laughs> your daughter got some trash pussy. Dumpster. She didn't get chose. Dumpster. 
She was not the one. Now, would you like to get hurt behind her? Mm-hmm. I, don't I don't think, think so, it. ma'am. Mm-hmm. She was the disposable. She, she was, was the disposable. disposable. I'm sorry, your daughter's a cum dumpster. Mm-hmm. 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 I <laughs> remember, remember I that. Did. Remember that guy. Gonna check me. Remember that that guy. What was his name? Toxic Toxic Avenger. The Toxic Avenger. Remember him, Billy? I know you remember him. The movie? Toxic Avenger. Who was that? He was a. He was like a. Future. Who? Future the Toxic Avenger. The, he was like a, a superhero. Like he cleaned up the neighborhood with a mop. The green was guy. Cool. Was this like in the eighties? Well, she said <laughs> she said pussy dumpster pussy or some shit. It reminded me of dumpster. toxic, toxic <laughs> Avenger. Dumpster. It was. It was cartoon. Yeah. Was it like the PSAs that used to be on PBS yeah. in the eighties? Like, it was a green like guy that. with a big eyeball and a bald yeah. head, yeah, and he had a mop and he had like he was I muscular. That sounds creepy. It was like yeah, yeah. Something just bit me in my forehead. I was, in, I was still in my father. <laughs> Something just bit me. It's the nats. I was with my father still. Um. So would y'all? Did you see the video with um, D. Simone where she basically said that she? Uh, was, not date a man with a nine to five. I yes. do not fill me in. Fill me in okay, on it. Okay, so B. Simone did a video. Can you wanna? You know, <laughs> she got hit in the forehead by a no. It, 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 it bit me. <laughs> okay, so B. Simone did a video and she said in that video she would not date a man with a nine to five. Yeah. So after I actually listened to her revamped video, um, like the context. Yeah, she had she had to dig into what she really meant and she said it's like at this point in her life she would not date a man that works a nine to five job because she feels as though that she has accomplished her goals and she feels though if you want to be stuck at a job for 50 years miserable and stuff like that then she don't have time for that which i agree everybody's not miserable in their nine to five though that's what she's. That's what she was saying. That's what she, you have to watch the video. That's what she was. That's yeah, what she was saying. Everybody's not. She said, I mean, but she's not talking to the ones that actually like going to their nine to five jobs. Yeah. At her, I can kind of relate to it, but I don't discriminate against the nine to five. I don't. But if I was at B Simone's status, I would probably. I can't. I still can't say I mean, that though only, because she, I can't say that I would want to date another who, entrepreneur. I don't want a man who's all in the spotlight like that. And she only so just made a million dollars. If, if you were making seven figures, you wouldn't want a man that's doing twenty hours an hour. I wouldn't. And I wouldn't want that because I would feel like I'll be demasculinating my, my man. That was not a word. Yes, it is. Demasculinating. Demasculinating. Demasculate. Demasculinated. Demasculate. What is it? Say it again. Demasculate. No, there's no D. Emasculate. Emasculate. Yeah, there Emasculate. you go. Emasculate. <laughs> yeah. No, demasculate. Emasculate. 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 <laughs> Y'all know what I meant. <laughs> That's that York education. <laughs> we will not. At least we could fucking ball because y'all got whooped every year. If I was making seven figures, you said. There's no man you could be with. I would not, I would definitely not be with somebody making $20 an hour. They couldn't tell you what to do. They couldn't, you wouldn't respect what they said. I, I, I it's not, it's not that I wouldn't respect them. It's that I, I would want them to bring more to the table. Like, how would you try to be with somebody that's making seven figures? Like, this isn't, if this that's isn't. What but what if, yeah, what like, if, okay, so what if you meet someone, right? And he's a family man, and he's God-fearing, and he's loving, and he's sweet, and he's kind, and he's thoughtful, and he's everything in the personality that you could want. And he works a $20 an hour job, but has ambitions of something more, and is working towards that something more. You wouldn't give that a chance? He would have to sign a contract stating that he wants me to help him find a better job. Don't do me. Don't do me. <laughs> Don't do me. Yeah. Listen to the I knew you was over here looking it up. <laughs> How women demasculinize. Yeah. Don't demasculinize? Do me. What does it How say? How is that a word? It's a word. She Googled it. Don't do me. What fucking word is that? Don't do me. Demasculinize. Demasculinize. It's like, it's like taking a man's balls. That's away. some shit TikTok created. Uh, All right. You that's, tried. That's you tried to shade. You tried to shade that woman's click. 
Because that is not a word. That's some TikTok shit. That is not a real That's word. That's a word. It's right there. It's. I didn't say I would. No, but she, she didn't say nothing. No, no, no. Uh, no. Because a man, no, hold on. An alpha man, a leader, does not always apply to the finances of the situation. A man. Be, they wouldn't even be alpha in their relationship just because of finances. They would not no, be. No, that's not true. That's not true. There's a lot of men yeah, out here. Not necessarily. Not exactly. broke. I'm not saying Nick broke. Nick Cannon did it. I'm not saying broke, but it, you might not be making seven figures. And he wasn't bossing figures. her around. He was her, yo. And, 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 he was a and, little school. But I'm not. I'm not say saying that. a broke man. I'm not say saying that. a broke man. I'm saying if he doesn't have seven figures, if I make seven figures and he makes five, he's still not a broke man. You're not gonna respect him. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what about the ambition? Yeah, if he what has a, if he has ambition, that's but that's he, what I'm saying. He's making that now. Bills, he's yeah. making that now, but he's working and growing on something else. You is he doing that on his own? Yes. Or is he trying to get with me no. so I can help him? That's no. Going to take a, a very honest and and and, and, and just uh, very uh, I would say comfortable with herself, woman. Mm-hmm. Really, there truly, was something. nobody would even really. I mean, you could know, but you you really don't you have to disclose that kind of information, and don't have to leave your house. Work. Finances really are something that don't need to be discussed outside of the house. There was something like okay, when I was younger, I used to always have this idea that I had to have everything just right. I had to have a certain amount of money, and I wanted to be in a certain place, and I wanted to have all these ducks in a row and everything lined up before I would let somebody seriously into my life. And my ex that's locked up, he used to teach me this. And it took him a while to get it through my head. And one day I finally got it. He stopped and he said, why can't we build together? And I could not think of an answer. I could not think of a reasonable explanation for why we couldn't fuck. grow together. Why can't we build together? Why can't we be a team? That's, that's all I'm saying. Are about. Exactly though. Yeah. So if I meet a man that's the most amazing man I've ever met, personality wise. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. Why can't we build together? I don't care what point I'm at. I'm not. I don't care what point you're at. But if I'm you still are, not doing that shit. if you are an amazing human being and you have ambition to get to where we want to go, there's a lot of the frauds problem? that you know are amazing and you have know ambition. Why that's I why. recommend women don't do that. In the words of the great Kanye West, and when he get on, he leave your ass for a white girl. Well, I'm already a white girl, so who you gonna leave me for? You're not. <laughs> who you gonna leave me for? A rich black a richer woman. White girl. <laughs> a you rich know what I'm black saying? woman. <laughs> but if that happens, then that happens. I think you know what I'm saying. Those are risks that you and take in a relationship. But why? But why girl. take the risk? And the same way though that that seven seven figure man and you're making seven figures, he could leave you for somebody just as easily too. Hey, I'm gonna say like, something real quick. I would rather I would rather get hurt by a rich man than get hurt by a broke man. We've already been home. We've already been hurt by broke men. All we Listen. deal with is broke men. But we're None broke of us too. have dated a millionaire. Listen, we all date broke we're men. We're all on the same level at some point. I dated a six-figure nigga. I did too. Where's he at? He didn't work out. His, exactly. His this is what was I'm too saying. small. This is what I'm saying, though. Like, <laughs> but oh. that man, we expect oh, these men that make We're six figures friends. to date the woman that doesn't. But we can't reciprocate that energy. Mm -hmm. You have to start conforming. You can't be the same person. Absolutely. Because this person got way more options than you. Mm -hmm. So you got to move that way. Exactly. You got to have that ambition. But not everybody does. Some people want to just skate along on, oh, well, they love me. I'll just live off of them. Some people are cool with that, too. You doing that but me. no, I'm not a, I'm not accepting that either. But if you have ambition and you want more and you have that drive so, and you want to build, I'm cool with that. So what you're saying is. If you make more money than your spouse, so that, your spouse should, should be that. should be working hard to make sure that one day he'll get more money than you. 
No, he doesn't have to have more money than me. I don't even. I just want him to be successful in whatever he chooses to do. But I don't care if you're an artist. Thing, Would you loan him some problem. money to start that's a business? No because yeah. If, if he's got a good business plan. If you have the ambition to do something and you're not doing it, what is ambition without action? But we all work other jobs besides this place, and this is our ambition. It's the same concept. You ha- you can't just wake up. We it. are. So you're saying as long as he has the intent and he's following through with it. Yes, yes, like, yes. Okay, yeah, I'm not saying he just sits there and talks about his dreams like, oh, one day. No, a man that has ambition, he can work he a 95 it? Why and work. Why would he have it if he was grinding the way he was supposed to? But yeah. if we're dating, mm-hmm. here's my other thing too. If we're dating, I'm not automatically involving you in my business. You don't automatically that's, that's walk in my room. rooms. Are you don't. Men are the eagles in the room. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, why can't I go? Oh, I, oh you're ashamed of me now. No, it's not. Eagles. It's not for you. So, it's not so, for you. so how? You don't get to come to every meeting I have. You don't no, get to come like, to every networking. He's talking you know? about like like mixers, right? You're talking about like mixers and stuff like that. Like taking. Them. All right. So wonder if. That you're in a situation like that, and you take your man to uh-huh. a mixer, right? Uh-huh. And a rich, a rich guy can't comes up and goes, "Hey, can you refill my, my drink?" Because I would think, tell that man he's rude as fuck for assuming that this man is a waiter. But you oh, would, you would, came with the help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Feel, like why? Meanwhile, that man is getting a drink. The other man in there, like I'll fly you to the city right now. But if Let's I already go. got a bag, I don't need you to do that. But I'm saying so. But After that, to, your your women. man your man feels some type of way, and he starts taking it out on you. Then we have a problem in the relationship. I am so talking why just about date somebody two, in your same class for I feel like men. That's how it would always turn out. Your yeah. man would always. I feel like no, if it was a man so. making less than a woman, I feel like all men deep down, regardless if they say it or not, have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you don't have a problem with that, to me, you're a leech, honestly. Yeah. Then you're usually a beta at that point. Yeah. What I am talking... And when you don't need them? Yeah, absolutely. You're disposable. Absolutely, but I need you in other ways. Not well, Financial isn't vibrated, always the be-all, end-all. Huh? Whatever you did, you moved or whatever, it vibrated my bottom. That was my energy. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Because I didn't do nothing. One more thing I want to touch on. Um, have you guys ever had whack foreplay and then felt obligated to have sex? Not obligated, but like I still went through with it. You still went through with it after whack foreplay. If you can't get foreplay right, then you probably can't have sex. Good. Isn't my I don't I don't do the one night stand or like the random strangers and all that bullshit. Like if I'm if I'm allowing you, the whole phase you've never had. I've never had it. No, I had one point in time in my life for about six months where I had what you would call like a whole phase. I slept with like two people, but they were friends. They weren't random strangers. That was a whole phase. That, but I'm saying that I wasn't in a relationship with. I I have sex with, when I'm in a relationship. If I'm not in, my hands are not broke. I can take care of myself. Your I don't need it. Showing. I don't care. That's my moral standard. I'm not fucking no, you unless unless it's uh, unless there's a real. Re- yeah, like I don't I don't have a problem with that. That's just how I was set up. So I've had like two people during that time that was like a one night stand. Other than that, we it's four or five dates, month, month and a half. I need to know you. I need to know you. I need to know the person that you are. So if I already like you enough to where I'm allowing you into my bedroom, then if it's a little off to begin with, we can give it a try. Sometimes you got to learn each other. It's not always like, oh, immediately. Now that I'm older, I don't think my whole phase was a whole phase. I, I think that the guys were the hoes. Most of them are. I think they were the hoes, and I didn't really get a chance to have a whole phase. I think mm-hmm. I need to have a whole phase. Maybe. I think I do. I think it's helpful. Now nah, I'm too over that. <laughs> I think it's good though to explore You're what you like. That when who's that actress? Jody's mom turned fifty. Mm-hmm. And, and had, had a threesome. threesome with two men. Mm-hmm. Because well, that was I mean, what she wanted. I, I wouldn't mind. But my thing too is like <laughs> it, I think it's important to explore your sexuality. Oh yeah. I think it's very important to. Find out what you like and find out what you're compatible Every with, and sometimes it's not. Face, I'm sorry, I think I'm having a lot of trouble great, with that. I no, I, can't, I, had I like can't find anybody months. that's compatible with me as far as you in the bedroom. Yes, you have. You have. I have. His yeah. name's Devil. Yeah. No, he's not really compatible. Oh shit. 
in the bedroom. In Mike the bedroom. Drop. Mike drop on that one. I thought so. Compatibility. I wrote, I wrote a poem about that guy. In the bedroom. Oh, my God. Ladies, we've done it again. <laughs> Wait a minute. We didn't talk about DJ Khaled. What the fuck did he do besides salsa? Oh, you he know what? He did. DJ Khaled bought a bunch of Mega Millions tickets. And I didn't like that shit. But you know what? He's not the only one. The thing about it, what Khaled did wrong, he should have did it like the Raising Cane um, franchise owner. He bought tickets. And he said that he was going to split the Mega Millions between all his employees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is fire. Like, I think that's dope. I think that's I, great. It made me almost want to go get a job there. My f- it was a billion dollars. It was a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah but DJ Khaled is worth $510 million, and he has endorsements. Thir- makes $30 million a year. Has endorsements with Ciroc, Apple, and Weight Watchers. It's not working, by the way. <laughs> and I really think that it was ignorant for him to do that. I. He would have got. Was he would have got. Million. He would have got four hundred thirty-three point seven uh, million dollars. No, no, no. I'm saying DJ Khaled's worth. I thought he was only oh, worth hundred and ten million. Oh, no, as of 2022, in 2018, he was worth seventy-five million, and as of 2022, five hundred ten. Even the taxes over that one point one billion would have been like twelve hundred million. He don't got that in cash. None of them dudes we watch on TV got that in cash. They got if that he, in assets. If he would have got the annu- annuity. He would have mm-hmm. got the billion, right? Annuity no. well, after tax, like it's half to basically. Google DJ Khaled only has a net worth of seventy-five million. Nope, that was in two thousand eighteen. I did the research. Scroll, okay. scroll yeah, down. Twenty twenty-two. As of July twenty twenty-two, DJ Khaled's net worth is estimated to be seventy-five million dollars. No, it's not right. That's even not right. They, even when they That's not right. They're talking about your properties, your business. Yeah, every, all your assets. But he got a $65 million private jet. Might it might be rented or leased. Talking. That might be Kylie's plan. It Who? might be. Kylie. <laughs> One of hers. I I, so if you're rich, you, you don't have it's, it's wrong for you to have aspirations to be rich? Nope. It's, I really I don't think he. I really think the celebrities um, should not be allowed to play the lottery. I really think they should leave it to us poor people <laughs> to go out and play the lottery and have a chance to become one of them and want to flock amongst the richer See, people. But that's the thing. I can't. If I was rich, I would buy ten thousand dollars Mercedes. Sure. Greedy. <laughs> My only problem. <laughs> this is what you I need. Like that type. This I is what I need it. these celebrities to understand, though. If you want to go buy 10 grand in lottery tickets, do it. Live your best life. Why are you telling anybody else? You should have just kept it to yourself. You didn't have to make a video. You didn't have to show it off. You didn't greedy. have to brag. He He's greedy. That, if he would have... Like, he didn't have to say shit. He could have just done it, and that was he it. He don't even eat his wife's pussy. He don't deserve an extra well, I'm billion pretty dollars. Sure, I'm pretty sure he didn't actually and go to the, the store and get the them. Great Nicki Minaj, ain't no fat nigga telling me what he ain't eating. I, I, don't, I don't think he was probably right. the one that's going hard. in there. I He's, think that's, how do you have a wife if you don't eat pussy? They came clean, and he said it, and so did she. He does, she doesn't. He does not go down on her, but she goes down on him. What was his reasoning? Because when men tell me that, or I, I mean, I, that's a deal breaker for me. But when men say that kind of thing, all that lets me know is you don't know how to. So you've put up this paper tiger excuse of, oh, well, you know, there's whatever reason, he whatever he said. He probably can't breathe. Whatever his reasoning is, because you <laughs> just don't want to do it or you're not good at it. You think women like sucking dick people? all the time? Mm-hmm. All, yes. But I mean, every man, every man that you've ever sucked his no. dick, you, it, that's, I, nope. exactly. My husband's all I want to explain. I'll slop that top all day, if but. You're going to just take that L. You're going to take that L. I'm, I'm, no, that's, I'm, no, I know, that's why I'm laughing, because it's face expression. And that's probably exactly what the, that's probably exactly what it is, though. Yeah, that's probably exactly what it is. I just think he can't breathe down there because he got to either lay on his stomach and that's going to cut off his air supply or she got to sit on his face and he's not going to be able to breathe either. 
I think when men say that, it's usually because they're just not good at it. So they act like it's some, oh, I just don't do that. That sounds a little bit of accuracy there, but I know also, I know men to have texture issues. Um, Texture issues? Yeah. I have. Are we going to do truth time here? I think we're going to need to because I need to know about the texture. (laughs) Texture issues, like, can you swallow cum? Yeah. Uh I have texture issues. I have texture texture issues with food. You shouldn't have texture issues with anything if you could swallow cum. I, not a problem. That shit is like a glob. Why are you over there thing. gagging? It is. <laughs> it is. It's literally like. Okay, so you never you never cough. Oh, sorry. Have you ever coughed and you had the stuff, the mucus come up and it, you swallow and it, it again? it your teeth. It's weird. You never um, swallowed it again? Performing fellatio two to three times if, if a week and swallowing speak, reduces your chances it? of breast cancer by 40%, according to the, C- the American Medical Association. I'm Just not, no. I, I, can, I, can, I can take I a whole banana and put it the whole way down. I can do that, too, but I'm not. Yes, yeah, so and then you don't even have to swallow. Just, just let it drip. Uh, yep. Mm-mm. That's what I'm saying. Uh, no. Mm-mm. Performing fellatio. Put it anywhere, put it anywhere else. Don't unless you know what the only way I can do it is if you put your dick like you in the back it. of my throat beyond the point where I can taste it and it just yeah goes so down. then it just goes down yeah. it just drips down wouldn't That's, that make you throw up no um for those that don't know performing fellatio two to three times a week and swallowing reduces your chances of breast cancer by forty percent throat's knocked out I'm just letting and you why, know and I why, suck and dick why for tips, my health. And why are the tips of the dick shaped like that? <laughs> because, because. Wait, no. I think all of you guys in my family, like, I'm uncomfortable with this stuff. <laughs> oh. Okay, but wait, no, I learned we new. We saved it for the end. I learned new useless knowledge, and I'm very excited about it. So there was this TikTok video talking about, like, why is the dick shaped like that? Why is it shaped like a mushroom? Like, what's the purpose? Why does it look like that? So there's actually an answer. (laughs) Do it. So it's actually an evolutionary trait. Yeah, hurry up and spit it out. Come on. Uh, Yep. So the shape of the penis is there and was developed however many years ago it evolved into that um, to allow the penis to scoop out other men's semen from a woman's vagina during sex. So you're so technically you're not supposed to use a condom. You're just supposed to stick it in and well, I mean when that and I guess when the evolutionary trait developed, I mean condoms wouldn't have existed. I'm assuming at that point that would have been thousands of years ago. I call bullshit because you know why? Back then everybody harped on marriage so much. Uh, so we're talking like hundreds and like it could have been a thousand years ago when that evolutionary women, trait yeah, developed women we're not supposed to be out here being scandalous Mm-mm. we've always been the scarlet letter you mm-hmm. know what i mean shit like that I, that's why i call bullshit i still think that's more modern society though like when you're talking about evolutionary traits that takes i mean that occurs over thousands of years so at the time when that started and you know men were being born with the mushroom tip Your looking hands. thing I don't so know. I believe it. Them cum scrapers. Yeah, that's what that's what they're calling. So what if they have the hood on and it's not a cum scraper? Uh uh-uh. Well, you know what? Those are actually pretty nice. The hood? Uncircumcised? Uncircumcised. Yeah, that Whoa. doesn't bother me. I don't have a problem it with that. It gives a little extra friction on the way up. Yeah. You know what? It's more sensitive for them. That's too. the end of the show. <laughs> 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 There's nothing wrong with it. We've done it again. Don't so. don't shame these men. I shame you. <laughs> this. She comes at the little lips, the regular shaped legs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the skinny and now lips. Now the extra skin. <laughs> Would you? Yo, I'm never if, gonna yo kiss the black guy with fucking Dixon skinny does. lips. No, I won't. I will not. That's Aaron's forte. I will I not. I could. If I'm a millionaire, if you he's are a not, good person, no. yeah, no, I could. Nope. I'll, you can be a kept man for all I give a fuck. I'll give you. I'll give you five hundred dollars. And you can flip that. I don't care. You could be a stay-at-home husband. I. You could be. Uh, you could be well taking care of the kids. <laughs> I. I honestly would. If you're a good person, after all the relationships we've been Girl, through in our we lives, get it. we get it. She wants that nine to five. I'm just saying. I don't want if the you nine got to a five. Dollar and a dream. But if I have a. I better have not. somebody I, before that. Well, I, I cannot like, wait. Sit here. No, I, I better have. I'm you just smell. saying. You <laughs> smell. I'm just Somebody saying, sick. I don't want the nine to five. I, I don't have a problem now. with it. I don't have a problem. If after all the bullshit oh, that we've dealt God. with in relationships, if I found a good man, <laughs> a good man, 
and I had enough money to support us both, I wouldn't give a shit. You gonna steal all I your really money? I really wouldn't. I wouldn't care. Prenups. What you ain't taking shit. Though? I'm not saying you got access. Swindler. Uh huh. No. Yeah. You'd be a stay at home man. Can Do we have out? kids? Mm. No, can he go outside? Can he go outside? Like I'm not gonna lock him in the house. What like, if he, he drives? What if he? What if he asks to use your Lamborghini? <laughs> I honestly, yo, I don't see what? I refuse but, to have a man come pick me up in my own car. But this That's is my ridiculous. problem. This is such a double standard though, no. because women have that expectation that men of wealth will allow you to sit at home and ride their Lamborghini and don't do shit. Why, if I find a man that I'm in love with that treats me like a queen, if I'm wealthy and have the ability oh, to support yeah. our lifestyle, why That's can't I? I can pick you up in the Lambo. Yes. Bad pipe in any financial <laughs> situation is a no-go for me. I don't care how rich you are. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to wait until you get your first million. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see how this. I better works. have somebody before then. This Friday. I better have somebody before then. August this Friday, 5th, August fifth. York City, we are coming through. You Street Last will be in the building. I at cannot the wait for you to get your million dollars. I'm here for it. I'm here for it because I'm going right to my devil's house. Yes, the get your tickets. Website, it's gonna be linked in the comments. Um, Hosted by myself and Candy. The whole team will be there. Um, come meet us in real life. Shout out to Lancaster Distilleries for bringing mm -hmm. the booze. Mm -hmm. They bring in a uh, shout out to the parliament for having us here. Lancaster Distillery is providing the booze and we bring in the boobs. The boobs. Both. I, I'm thinking about leather. Ooh. I'm I here was for it. I'm into it. I think I'm, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> we I don't always know have yet. to figure out our, uh, our outfits. Gotta figure it out. Um, yeah. But yeah, shout out to us for doing mm -hmm. the show. I'm really excited for it. I'm excited because yep. we're going to be in my hood. Yep. My it's going to be a good night. We handed out a lot of flyers. I expect all of you yes, to be there. Did. We did. Everybody, I gave a flyer to you. Better show up or give me my paper back. Mm -hmm. Right? I want refunds on my paper. <laughs> I know. I got to <laughs> do better. So I'll give me my paper back. No, for give real, because back, paper's back. getting expensive. Yeah, everything's, hey. expensive. everything's expensive out give here. Give me my paper bag. But we thank you guys for tuning in. We hope that you um, like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, share this episode with your family or friends. If you need advice, inbox us, because uh, we like to give advice. And you can remain anonymous, too. Yes. And make sure you have both your feet, please. Jesus. Have a great day, guys. We'll see y'all next week. Say both your feet. <laughs>